It's the system introduced by the State Finance Ministry and the Office of the State Accountant General for the payment of their monthly pensions. The pensioners during a meeting with the local government and Chief Tinti Affairs Committee of the State House of Assembly in Abelkuta said the system was causing delay in the payment of their pensions. But the State Finance Commissioner Wale Oshinowo, who was represented by the State Accountant General Olai Waladusumu, said the system was aimed at streamlining the process of payment from the Bureau of Local Government Pension Board to the Finance Ministry and Office of the Accountant General. The state chairman of the Association of the Local Government Pensioners of Nigeria, Chief Sikiru Ayilara, accused the Finance Ministry and Office of the State Accountant General of hijacking the payment of pensions to the council's retirees from the Bureau of Local Government Pensions. Ayilara asked the Finance Ministry and the Office of the Accountant General to comply with the provisions of Pension Act 2004, which empowers the Bureau of Local Government Pensions to handle the payment of pension of local government retirees in the country. Chairman of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Local Government and Chief Tenancy Affairs Committee, Olushala Shunuga, directed the Finance Commissioner and the State Accountant General to speed up the process of streamlining of outstanding pensions. The payments and ensure settlement of outstanding pensions to the affected pensioners. Police image Commissioner Ahmed Iliazu has ordered the immediate transfer of the suspects to the homicide section of the state's criminal investigation and intelligence for further investigations. Northern Elders Forum has accused President Buhari of changing the North three geopolitical zones in the appointment of ministers and the allocation of capital projects in the 2016 budget. The forum spokesman, Professor Ango Abdullahi, speaking on a radio program in Kaduna, said Buhari has disappointed the North, who voted massively for him in the 2015 presidential poll. Abdullahi said Buhari's change agenda was not the type of change that the North expected from his administration. For instance, the forum spokesman said in the 2016 budget, the Northeast zone was allocated only 3% of the capital vote, while for Northwest, 9% was allocated and 19% for the North Central zone. Police in River State have arrested three persons for allegedly printing fake ballot papers for the December 10 rerun polls into the National Assembly in the state. The state's police command spokesman, Namde Omuni, said the suspects were arrested at a D-line area of Putakot, the state's capital. He said the suspects were arrested by operatives of the state criminal investigations department. Independent National Electoral Commission fixed the December 10 for the conduct of the rerun polls following the ultimatum given to it by the Senate to conduct. President Mohamed Buhari has approved the handover of the old state house in Marina, Lagos to the Lagos state government. Governor Akemomi Ambode had requested for the transfer of the building as part of monument in the proposed transformation of Marina Oricon into an art and tourism hub. The State Information and Strategy Commissioner Steve Ayorinde said the State House to be named as Heritage Center for Leadership would be redesigned and equipped as a research center open to local and international tourists. Other projects in the Marina Onika Tourism Hub include a skywalk connecting Marina from the Freedom Park on Broad Street, a tourism welcome center, a multi-layer car park, a mall and the Aquamarine Center. Police have arrested a pastor for allegedly defiling and impregnating a 15-year-old girl who is a senior secondary school to student of the Shaje High School in Abelkuta, the Ogun State Capital. Spokesman of the State Police Command, Abimbola Oyeyemi, who made this known, identified the pastor as Dr. Michael Adeniro, who is the founder of the El Bethel Parish of Celestial Church of Christ, Itaga, in Abelkuta. He said the suspect was arrested last Saturday following a complaint from the mother of the girl who was said to be the suspect's lover. Oyeyemi said the girl informed the police that the pastor lured her into his car on the day she marked her birthday and forcefully had carnal knowledge 
of her. He said the state police commissioner, Ahmed Iliazu, has ordered the immediate transfer of the case to the Anti-Human Trafficking and Child Labor Unit of the state command criminal investigation and intelligence department for further investigation. You're still listening to the national news from Rock City 101.9 FM. Up next, we bring you business and sports news. Please stay with us. Now in business, Presidency intends to review the templates used for pricing imported petroleum products to prevent a fresh increase in the pump price of the products. The review aims at addressing the challenges of the falling exchange rate of the Naira and ensuring that a litre of petrol is not sold above 145 Naira per litre. Petroleum Resources Minister of State, Ibe Kachiku, who made this known in Abuja, said the proposed review of the pricing template would involve petroleum products marketers and other major stakeholders in the petroleum downstream sector. Kachiko said the proposed template review will see the elimination of some of the charges by the federal government ministries and agencies on imported products. A few days ago, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, said the pricing of a litre of petrol at 145 naira was no longer sustainable considering the foreign exchange regime, but said the pump price would not be increased. Akwa Ibam State Government has complained over the suspension of the payment of the 13% derivation to all producing states from the Federation account. Governor Udam Emmanuel, who made this known in Uyo, said the state, which is Nigeria's leading oil producer, has not been paid the derivation for the past two months. The governor, who described the development as unprecedented, said he had reported the issue to the appropriate quarters for immediate intervention. Emmanuel, who was a member of the Niger Delta delegation that met with President Buhari, also said Buhari has promised that the presidency would intervene in the abandoned plant of the aluminium smelter company of Nigeria in Ikotobasi in the state. Finally, in the national news is the sports news. FC Ivanuba of Newi made history for themselves after beating hard-fighting Nasara United of Lafia 5-4 to lift the 2016 Federation Cup in the Sunday's final of the competition played at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos. Both sides had failed to score within the 90 minutes, which was regulated time of a keenly contested final, forcing the match into penalties shootout. The Anambra Warriors converted all the penalties, while the solid miners' second kick was saved by Ifanyuba's goalkeeper, Okafo. With the victory, if FC Ifanyuba had joined Wiki Tourists of Bauchi as Nigeria's representatives at the next year's CAF Confederation Cup competition. Brown Idaya remains top scorer in the Greece League after he scored his seventh goal in Athens Derby. Idaya has said he wishes to finish a goal as goal king in Greece this season. Last season, he netted 10 goals in 24 appearances in the league. On Sunday, Idaya made it 3 0 for champions Olympiakos after 44 minutes. Olympiakos are top of the league table with 21 points from eight matches and seven points ahead of the closest rifles, Panathinaikos. That was the national news at 10. And just before we go, the major stories once again. Ogun local government pensioners complained over mode of pension payment. Northern elders accused Buhari of marginalizing the North. Police arrest fake ballot paper printers in Port Harcourt ahead of rerun polls. And finally, presidency to review price and template of petrol to retain price at 145 naira per litre. For more stories and to listen to us live, please log on to our website www.rockcityfmradio.com slash live. Thank you very much for listening. The Daybreak Show continues. I am Chenya Ibram. Good morning.